5.0 or higher to be able to use it. And uh, so what we've done is uh, we took a, a 98 startup disk and apparently that it's the same thing as a DOS disk because it worked. And uh, <coughs> we've already checked it out on another machine. Now the first part of this process, besides burning the disk, the second part of this process would be to uh, have the BIOS configuration right. Uh, so we have got this machine fired up already and I'm going to switch my KVM switch over so I can turn the camera around and view, allow the camera to view this, the screen. And as you tab down through these selections, this line down here changes and you see it says boot sequence right there very very plainly so we're going to hit enter here and go down to boot se sequence and hit enter now we've pre-configured this to say floppy cd-rom and then hard disk first boot device second boot device third boot device and uh, we're going to set save by hitting F10 again and click it on yes and hit enter then the computer reboots we let it go ahead and boot up now while that's booting up we're going to turn to the desktop bench, bench tester we're going to tell you we have our power supply hooked up uh, like we do on our bench tester CPU fans hooked up, one stick of memory. We have a CD-ROM hooked up on an IDE with uh, a little adapter to a, uh, and this adapter is three dollars and fifty cents by the way, that hooks up to a uh, laptop drive and it needs power. And got our floppy hooked up here on its own ribbon. This is a single IDE board. Uh, we also have in the back here our VGA and our keyboard and mouse going through one cable on our KVM, KVM switch. And we uh, turn back to the screen. Start computer with CD-ROM support is what we want. And we hit enter. It is still pulling stuff off of the... Uh, off of the floppy now to jump this board we cross the pins uh, like we do in our videos when we use the bench tester we cross the power switch pins and that allows the board to fire up This test should not take more than 15 minutes. We are going to edit the middle of the test out while we're waiting for the results. It is still reading off the floppy. When we get to this point, we're going to change directory to D. Once Okay, so let's try this. D colon slash F J. What's the name of that file, honey? F J D T dot E X E, I do believe, and then it leaves our command prompt on the D. F J D E -X -E. All right, Wendy. Now that we have uh, it on the D drive, we are also going to put an FJDT once again dot .exe to launch this program. And there it goes. Press space T key to continue. Agree. Identifying hard drives connected to your system. It is uh, scanning to see what hard drives are there.
Now each one of these manufacturers of drives each have their own individual testing software that you can get download from their site. No hard disk has been identified in your system. Great. So this drive may be bad, but then again it uh, should be jumper disk device one. We are going to have to re jumper this drive. The only thing that I have done differently is uh, jumper the drives. Uh, the I am under the assumption that the reason it didn't pick up the hard drive was because it wasn't jumpered master being the C drive and the CD-ROM was so what I did was re-jumpered them, uh, switched them back and around uh, to where the CD-ROM was uh, the slave and the hard drive is the we're going to agree and do a rescan and see if that's the case because now the hard drive is the C drive or your master. So that was the problem. This is drive to Fujitsu connected to your computer. We may have a, a partitional one. The software is performing like it should at this point. And again, it's Fujitsu ATA hard disk drive tools. The link is, is fjdt.exe. Drive past the quick test. Comprehensive test. It did take say it would take it. Did say it would take up to 40 some minutes, I believe. Uh, I'm going to F10 on this and abort current test. And it did tell me abort down there in the left hand corner. And we're going to go ahead and hit yes. We're going to come down here to the second drive. And we're going to say go ahead and do a quick test on it. Like I said uh, uh, before, each disk manufacturer has its own software that's recommended that you use. So we could have tested this disk with uh, C tools uh, made by uh, made by Seagate. But uh, use your own manufacturer's equipment and uh, try pass a quick test. And uh, we're going to go ahead and say no to this, and we're going to start my wife's format. Okay, and uh, we tested both drives and they both passed. Pass, pass. Uh, I'm not sure why it's seen as two drives. I would assume that there's a, a HP restore partition on the drive. Uh, we do have the exact same serial number on both of these drives and the exact same number of drive, but it is seeing this one on that's the C drive and then it's seeing something on 4. Now, I'm not sure what it could be possibly seeing other than uh, another partition. So there we have it. Again I am Mike Moran and this is the Versa Cowboy Tech Roundup and we hope we showed you how to uh, check a disc. Uh, because if a customer gives you a disc uh, be very gracious and say thank you very much and uh, stick it in your waste machine.